everybody's Punisher and I wanted to show you Restream.io. Restream.io is a wonderful application that allows you to send your broadcast to their servers and then from Restream servers they will simulcast your broadcast to any of your streaming services that you have connected to their server. It's an awesome application. I want to show you what the dashboard looks like so you can be familiar with it. It's super easy to use and you will find that it is a perfect solution for combining all of your stream services, including chat. So let's go ahead and get there now and take a look at it. Don't revive me, bro. This is Restream's dashboard. Now, when you initially log in, you're going to have a blank canvas. So none of your stream service is going to show up, of course. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go in. You're going to need to add a channel. Now, you see that it supports a ton of different streaming services, including Twitch, Beam, Hitbox, YouTube, gaming, all that stuff. So it is great. It supports a ton of services. I'm sure that you use one of these. So it's simply going in and clicking. I'm going to add my Hitbox because I do have that. And you click on the Connect Hitbox. It automatically connected. And the reason it did that is because I had already logged in and done in, uh, to Hitbox. And I deleted it just to show you how. But what it should do for you is it should pop up with a uh, window so that you can do you put your username and password in. And when you do that, then it will show up on your uh, dashboard just like this. Now, you can turn these on or off as necessary. If you don't want to stream to them all, you don't have to. Or you can do as many as you want. As long as these are on, you will stream to those services. It's a great thing. Now, over here, it's very important that you can select all your different servers uh, that Restream provides to you free of charge to stream to your different streaming services. So uh, for me, I'm closest to Washington, D.C., and so that's the serv servers I use. Now, make sure you copy this URL. L and this is where you go into your stream settings for you know uh, OBS Studio or XSplit uh, wherever you set up where your stream is going to go and I uh, simply copy and paste your uh, URL into XSplit or OBS. Next I'm going to show you how to get OBS Studio set up for Restream.io. Now I'm going to show you how to set up Restream inside of OBS Studio. You may or may not be familiar with the new program, but it's simply going into your settings and then going to Stream, and then Restream IO is already in your streaming services, so it's just a matter of selecting Restream IO, then going down and finding the server that you want to use, and then copying over your Stream key right into that little field right there. It's simple as that. Now something I do recommend you doing. It's setting up a separate profile inside of OBS. So once you get your stream services set up and you get your key copied over, then you can go up to profile and then you can select new and simply just name your profile like I do with mine. I name it Restream IO and then you have a profile already set for Restream and it's just simply as going up a profile and selecting that Restream. Make sure to check is there and you start streaming and you roll with it it's that simple that said everybody thank you for watching this quick tutorial on restream i hope that it helped you out if it did then give me a comment below give me a like and subscribe to my channel please as more, more tutorials are coming out and if you would like to use restream.io just visit our website at restream.io it's that simple guys y'all have a great week we'll see you out there be good bye bye